Today we get this car fully functional and break in the engine. Big day today, guys. We are going to break in this engine. However, there are a couple other things that we need to take care of. The first one is completing the integration of our AEM dash with the Link ECU and the AEM uh, 22 channel CAN module so we can like link everything together. So there's still a couple things left to do there. So let's get down to that. So here is our AEM CD5 dash in its raw form of taking it, I have taken it out of the, the gauge cluster. And what I'm looking to do is integrate the turn signals, which is one of the last things I need to do onto this screen. I'll show you in a moment what that would look like. However, before we do that, we need to figure out the wiring for the turn signals. I've already figured out a lot of the wiring, which is like AYC, ABS, um, and a couple of other things. So that is already in there. However, the turn signals are not. And you know, me and Dave spent a little bit of time looking through the factory manual that we found online. and. For whatever reason, we just couldn't find the turn signals. I think it's just our newbie-ish in terms of reading it. So what I wanted to do was show you a quick and easy way to do that. If you're kind of like us and you struggle with that stuff, here's a, a quick and easy way to figure out where the turn signals are. And that's just to take your old gauge cluster right here and then trace where the wire would go to. So for example, this is the right turn signal. And you can see this wire right here runs along and goes right here so there you go so i've got the voltmeter hooked up uh, ground to ground and for power what i'm going to do is now key this to the on position and we will turn the turn signal indicator on and now to double check i'm just going to go and trace i think it was this wire here on top and let's have a look that is working so it was actually the bottom one see i already made the mistake but as you can see so it's on the bottom one and there you go so we do have power to that one so i know I can tap into that wire and I, I'm not mistaken, the third one from the top on this side was the other one. So let's flip this up and there you go. So now we've got our wires. It's a very simple and easy way to trace your wiring if you don't have a diagram. And now that means I have to run wires from here down to our AM uh, 22 channel unit that I've tucked away all the way down here. But uh, I'll pull this out and show you guys how simple that is. So here is our AM 22 channel CAN module. If you guys remember from a previous episode, I had their 6 and 22 channel uh, module and I kind of explained how it works, but I'll give you a quick refresher. What we've got is we've got our Link ECU and we've got an AM digital dash. Now the Link ECU has a certain amount of channels that it can output to that dash. And then if you want to add more channels, things like turn signals, like fuel level, like AYC, ABS lights, you now need to add an extra module. Uh, the six channel module would work in most cases. However, in this case, because I'm, I'm adding a lot of other digital inputs, that you go to the 22 channel one. Now this one has a ton of open channels now. So if I want to add more sensors that we've, and we've maxed out the link, I can add them onto here. So if I want to add fuel pressure, if I want to add like, you know, exhaust temperature, all that stuff. And the beauty is this integrates seamlessly in between the ECU and the dash with one cable. And that allows it now to have all that input and to be displayed up there. So it's a really awesome device if you're trying to, you know, log or keep track of a lot of things like we are. And as I just mentioned, so for the left and right turn signal, I've spliced them into those wires and I'm going to put the right turn signal onto digital input 14. And then I'm gonna put number 15 is going to be the left turn signal. So I'm gonna clip these into place and now we can hook this all up and then I can show you on the dash what we're working with. So with everything wired up, I've now connected our digital dash to our AEM dash design software. This software is actually really great. They've spent a ton of time sorting it out and getting it to be very intuitive and, and user friendly. So what uh, we would normally have to do, I've already kind of gone through the steps here, but we would have to import the CAN module and set it up and make sure that all the, uh, the, the channels are there. And then what we would do is go to the channels menu and select the digital input four and five, which I've already done, and change them over to, I've renamed them to blinker, hold on, let's see where we are, sorry. Up to blinker left and blinker right. So you can see blinker left is the digital state four on the can, so that's that. And then from there onwards, we need to go to image selector. And this is the beauty of this is, 
AM's done all of the hard work for us. So they already have a turn signal indicator set up here. And if you wanted to change it, they have done all of the hard work for the icons that you need for a variable stuff, like everything from EV mode, fuel level obviously and whatnot. So we've already got the turn signal indicator set up. So, and we're ready to go. I've also set up the ABS light and the AYC, which I've used this like lock transfer uh, icon, as you can see. So that's all done. And now what I, the cool thing that I wanted to show you guys is what I have done is created this custom uh, screen here using the old uh, gauges that I had out of that cluster that I ended up cutting up. And we've I've built out this screen here, which is really cool in my opinion. So you've got like the factory fuel gauge here. You've got the, the coolant uh, temperature gauge. And I've put the kilometers, the speed in this digital format since I didn't really want to have another gauge. I figure the RPM is the most important. So, and you, you can see the turn signal indicators in there. So it's super easy to do that. What I was going to do here is also change out this is my splash screen right now so i'm going to change this out to one that i've created there it is my the evo 6 sti killer check that out it's as easy as that so now what i'm going to do is upload this and then i'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the actual display let's see that new splash screen oh nice all right that looks good and there we go that is our startup screen and let's see do we have blinker we have blinker woohoo so this is finally set up to i think where we need to have it which means now it's a matter of putting everything back together and getting this interior done and then we can move on During our break-in procedure, I noticed that the fuel gauge on the AEM CD5 digital display dash was reading, I think almost like three quarters full and waving almost to full. So I knew we had an issue there. And uh, what I've done already is just pulled apart the dash, plugged in our old cluster just to confirm where we were at with the fuel level. And it's actually reading down here, um, almost I'd say an eighth empty. So we have a bit of a discrepancy because right now this is reading an eighth from full. So I think I've got the numbers wrong, which, which will hopefully be an easy fix. So it looks like in fact, I do have our numbers reversed here to a certain extent, because as you can see right now, our scale goes up this way and we're supposed to be at 41.9 ohms for empty and 6.1 ohms for full so i think what i need to do here actually is switch this out to 41.9 and then the number here to 6.1 and that should reverse the scale so there we are so i think that should be good let's load this up and have a look and there we are it looks like we are reading i mean super super close to where the original oem gauge is reading so just to be sure, what we're gonna do now is fill the gas tank up and cross-reference and see because I also don't know if the OEM gauge is reading correctly because I did fiddle, we had the, we had the gas tank out, so we did fiddle with those uh, level sensors and whatnot. So let's fill this thing up and see where we're at. So gas is going in and I'm watching the gauge and we'll see if it's going in the right direction, then uh, I think we're good. If it's not, then we've got a problem. Okay, so we are at just over half a tank of gas right now. So I'm gonna put the factory gauge in and see where we're at. Great success. Our fuel gauge is reading just above half. So literally the same spot where the AAM dash is. So I think we've got this finally dialed in. I'm gonna dump the rest of the tank in just to be sure. And there you have it. We've got ourselves a full fuel gauge. So everything is working there. So thank you so much for watching. This episode is officially a wrap and Put your money on me, people, because I can see this car is going to destroy the SDI.